Okay, ladies, we are going all the way back to basics for this video, and we are going to be talking about the main components of 3D foundation. So, like I have said before, and if you're new, then you're hearing it for the first time, there are um, the four most important tins that make up your 3D foundation. When you receive a color match from me, you are going to see everything that I recommend. And since everything is completely customizable, you get to pick and choose what's going to work best for you. And I am, I mean, and then the rest you can come back to later. I just wanna make sure you have the whole picture. So 3D foundation consists of a brightening highlighter, a main highlight color, a contour, and a blush. We need to add that life back into our faces. And I, if that's what you want to start with, um, this is the most basic kit you can get. Um, you can get a quad with the Stay Setting Spray. Many of you recently have gotten the Buffy brush with your first purchase, and so I'm going to use that today, and a Perfector sponge. So this is like probably like the main minimum for um, being happy with 3D foundation. So if we take a look at this quad compact, you're going to see my customized colors, okay? So you're gonna see my brightening highlight, and this kind of goes under the eyes, It um, under the eyes, the center of your face. This is your main highlight, or my main highlight. It goes kind of like in the chin strap, mustache, forehead area. Um, this is the contour. This is going to create those shadows and enhance your natural bone structure. And then this is my lip and cheek right here. So those are the four main components and the four main tins that you want to have when you're starting to use 3D foundation, okay? And I'm going to show you how to use that. So there really is no rules at what you start with. You may want to start with your contour. You may want to start with your brightening highlight. You may want to start with your matching highlight. It doesn't matter, okay? It's really up to you. So I'm gonna start with my main color, okay? And I'm gonna use the bigger side, but you can use either side. And I am just going to tap into my tin. Less is best, remember, you don't want a whole lot. And I am just going to stipple this color right into my skin. So the reason I'm um, stippling versus swiping is because I am getting the fullest coverage with the least amount of product right off the bat. And I like a full coverage, but I don't like feeling cakey. So if you are putting your 3D foundation on and you're feeling really cakey, you are wearing too much, okay? So if you feel sticky or cakey, then you have too much product on your face, okay? So I'm, I'm doing most of my forehead, coming a little bit down on my nose, and I am gonna do the triangle under my eyes, just a little bit, okay? There, stippling is the best for me. Okay, I am going to go and touch up any spots that I feel um, maybe are blemishes or anything that I want, just a little extra coverage. The thing with 3D foundation is you never get that like weird circle of concealer that you sometimes see. You don't get that, which is so, so nice. Okay, now I'm going to go into my brightening highlight, which is my lighter one. And sometimes when I'm in between colors, I'll mix these two to find the right one. Um, but right now I am pretty correct on my highlight. So I'm going to stick right, I'm gonna start right here, and then I am going to push that product around into a triangle of light under my eyes. And as you can see, I have brightened up my eyes without looking too crazy. I have just hidden that bag under my eye that many of us have, either genetically or lack of sleep. And I'm gonna bring it down the center of my face just to brighten. It's just adding a little bit more dimension. This maybe is another, um, your brightening highlight could be um, 
optional. I just really like it to add another dimension. Okay, now I'm flipping over to the other side and I'm going to dip into my contour. And my contour um, is the formula is a little bit different. So it you don't have to tap as much. You can swipe to get it in a little bit more. And then I do swipe it on my face. And again, less is best. If you are feeling like it's not melting into your skin um, or you feel like, you know, I don't see it on my forehead, then use a little bit more product and that's totally fine. Now I dipped in and I'm gonna go underneath my cheek. I'm gonna feel and I'm gonna press up into my cheekbone and I'm only gonna use like half. And I'm just gonna go like that and like that. And then I'm gonna make my jaw a little bit stronger. See, I'm kind of soft over here and I'm just enhancing my natural bone structure. And then so I don't have a weird line under my chin, I am just bringing whatever's there down, okay? Okay, I do want you to see, I'm gonna get up close, I don't have like perfect, um, I'm gonna turn this on so you can see. I don't have perfect coverage everywhere. Some I have, um, like here I have a little bit extra products. Um, I can add a little bit here. And I'm gonna kind of blend up like so. But I do, you know, like have weird lines on my face and that's okay. That's where this guy becomes your best friend. Okay, so what I did is I ran it under the sink. I got it wet all the way through and I squeezed it out so that it is just damp. I don't hear any product in it. And I am just going to bounce that on my face. So what this is gonna do is this is going to melt my colors together. It is going to pull off any excess product I may have on my face. And it's just going to help it look natural instead of weird, okay? I'm gonna bring some contour down my nose and under like so, okay? I'm just gonna make sure I have enough product on my face because it looks different in the camera. All right, now I'm going back over, so to this side. Now I've used this side a couple times and there are no rules. And since we're using cream, not much comes off. There's not a lot of transfer because you're using such a small amount of product. So I'm gonna go back into this compact and I'm going to dip into my lip and cheek. Now lip and cheeks are very pigmented, okay? And a little goes a long way. So this is Royal and it's kind of like a maroony color. It is more glossy, so it's not as pigmented as some of the mattes, but it just makes it go on really light, really pretty. And I'm putting it like in the meaty part of my cheek and I'm kind of following up my contour line a little bit, okay? You don't need to, depending on the shape of your face, um, but I find that this works for most faces, right here like this. And then, I'm just gonna wipe the edges so they don't have like a weird line, okay? You can always go on and pat, like if you put too much on. And then I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna put it in my royal. And I am just going to take that and put it right on my lips because it is a lip and cheek. And there we go, we're done. This is the very, very basics. Now. You have the product on your face and you want to set it. There are two different ways. This is a stay spray. We have one with SPF in it. You shake. You can either spray your face or put a couple squirts on your perfecter and just kind of dab it on. This is going to make it stay all day and it's going to set your makeup without making you look really matte. So you're still going to get that nice, glow, that healthy glow that you're going to keep. So this is where you could stop. We also have a bronzer that I use as well as an illuminator that I use every day. So um, I'm kind of a princess. I like a little bit more. But if you are only choosing those four colors, that is how you can use them. So super easy. 
Let me know if you have any questions and send me your color match. Bye guys.